Queen. Take leave of this place while you're still able. To where, I might ask? Nigh every last of Cornea's lords has forsaken us in favor of the traitor Valmor. No refuge remains for a crowned fugitive. Yet the general seeks my death and mine alone. I shall not flee from that fate. Though you still can, a soul rider with Elaine at your side. Take him, Joseph. Raise that delicate seedling into a sturdy tree capable of weathering the harsh climbs that await. And pray safeguard the ring of the unicorn as well. Hold it close to you until Elaine is a man grown. He will have need of the power it bears. My queen, I... Mother? Are they coming for us? Heed well these words, Elaine. I say this not as your mother, but as your queen. From here forth, you're to treat Joseph's command as though it were spoken directly with my tongue. Do you understand? Of course, but is there something amiss? My faith and more lies with you, Joseph. I only pray it is enough. Farewell, and may the heavens guide you. Why are you just standing there, Joseph? Aren't you going to help her? Would that I were able, my prince. Come, we've not a minute to spare.
You'll have no mercy from me. On your guard! I trust you! Witness the royal blade! I am your shield! Behold my might! Does this suit you? I never have this! I must fight on! Ready yourself, traitor! yourself I shall protect you I trust you ready yourself you'll see no harm I am your shield We strive together! Does this suit you? Go. Raise your shield! My magic is yours. Enlighten me, Valmor. To what end do you seek to usurp my throne? Self-centered fool. It's not merely your throne I aspire towards. It's all of them. Zenoira are the rightful sovereigns of Feverith, and I... The blade to restore our world to its natural order. You seek to plunge the continent into war. <laughs> Feverith need not suffer your delusions. A proper ruler demands unity, not pointless politicking with insufferable neighbors. Now, I shall achieve that unity through conquest and reclaim that which is rightfully mine. I would sooner see you slain by my hand! I promise you, my queen, the royal lineage shall endure. It is but a great shame I couldn't aid you further. All has gone according to plan, my lord. <laughs> and yet our work only just begins. We stand now at a new dawn for Feverith, one which will see Zenoira's dominion restored at last. Curious, though, that we've no trace of the old knight's captain. About that, my lord. A lone cavalry unit was spotted riding through the eastern gate before it was barred. Then the boy is lost to us. A truth obscured only by his mother's futile attempt at a counter-offensive. It would seem I underestimated her penchant for deception. Year 895 of the Hollowed Chronicle. Claiming himself a scion of the fallen Sonoiran Empire, Cornea's once decorated General Valmor rebelled. 
against his erstwhile home at the seat of its monarchy, Grand Corinne. Its queen, Alenia, bold in the face of this staggering betrayal, stood unshrinking as the shield to her son Elaine's safe flight and mustering what meager forces remained by her side. She rallied a defense as valorous as it was damned. With Cornea's queen lost, care of the young prince fell to her faithful knight, Joseph, who took wing beyond Valmor's wretched grasp to asylum on the forded isle of Palavia in the holy kingdom of Albion. And boastfully proclaiming himself Fevreth's new emperor, Valmor donned a second name, Calarius, and began a relentless onslaught the continent's nations could only but struggle against. Yet each realm's endeavors fell in vain time and again, and ere long Zenoira's vile dominion was realized. His blood-soaked unification come to bear. Few dared stand against the ironclad fist of Emperor Galerius. Embers of resistance burned on. Yet the downtrodden could cling only to furtive hopes of liberation. Desperate prayers which fell upon deaf ears night after unceasing night. Ten years have passed since the Shroud of War first set over Cornea. Those two are at it again. Well, that takes care of the altar. I suppose I should be getting back. Sorry, Elaine, but this round's mine. Ah, you always were the optimist. Damn it. You got a good hit in, I'll give you that. There's just no stopping you these days. Yet you've grown no less than I have. Still, we could likely train for the rest of our lives and even then, never manage to best Joseph. Weird to think he's back on the mainland now. Finally making that Liberation Army thing a reality, huh? Guess that means we'll be going up against Anoira soon. Indeed it does. The people of Cornea are suffering, Lex. Crying out for whatever help will hear their pleas. Should I turn a deaf ear to those voices, I would have little and less claim to the crown I feel is mine. That, and I owe it to my mother to see them safe. Well, yeah, but... Zenoira's got the whole world in the palm of their hand. How are we gonna fight back against that? The Earth may be theirs, but the heavens will surely favor those who stand for justice. You got a point there. Sorry for not sounding all too confident. Just... make sure you don't take it all on yourself. I'll be with you every step of the way. Thank you, Lex. You know I can't do this without you. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> anyway, that's enough training for today. We're gonna miss lunch if we don't get moving. I suppose it is that time. Hmm? You see something out there? It's... a ship. Looks like they're flying Zenoira colors, too. This island is no longer safe. We have to tell the others. With you there. You head for the cathedral. I'll make sure the town knows what's coming. Seal 
off the harbor, and do it quick! Not a soul gets off this island under our watch. All soldiers have alighted, sir! Dispatch the vanguard to the cathedral. And remember, we're to apprehend the target alive. Understood, sir! Oh, Heavenly Father, ruler of land and sky above, we pray this day for deliverance from evil. Grant us the meager sustenance to nourish our fragile bodies in the times to come. Guide our lost souls on the path to salvation. Shine down your radiant light upon us, for darkness looms thick through all corners of Fevrith. Such is my request as your humble servant. In the name of the Guardian Unicorn, and that of the Holy Mother, is that you, Elaine? How many times must I ask you not to stomp around in the cathedral? <sighs> what is the meaning of this? Well, look what we've got here. Seems we're the first to show. Rough her up if you want, but don't forget. The girl dies, and our heads will roll too. Such depravity will not go unpunished. Not in the house of the Heavenly Father! Yeah? Then you best get to praying. Yeah. <laughs> She's fast! Not as fast as us! <laughs> what the? <sighs> Scarlet, are you hurt? Only a little shaken, that's all. What's happening to us, Elaine? A ship has come ashore on Palavian soil. One hoisting the banner of the Zenoiran army. And are they aware that you're the Crown Prince? I can't say for certain, but we know one thing. These people are our enemy, and they must be stopped. Yes. My cathedral will see no more bloodshed this day. Come, let's move outside. Your Highness, it's a relief to see you unharmed. Hold on. Where's Lex? He went ahead to alert the town. We best find him and get to the harbor. Indeed. But first, my prince, this belongs to you. A ring. The Ring of the Unicorn. Queen Elenia wished for you to have it. In truth, I had intended to wait till signs of age played more deeply cross your face, but we no longer have such luxury. I have the utmost faith you'll see it secured. A keepsake from my mother. Thank you for this, Joseph. Truly. Make no further mention of it. Now, let us be off. You 
You face me. up. Yes, sir. So, uh, what next? Ready. You got it. You don't stand a chance. of the royal family awaiting your command as you wish this isn't gaze upon the face of your demise Liberation. I've got to make this work.
Yes, sir. I'll not fail you. I am yours to command, Your Highness. By your word, what would you ask? Very well. Sure thing. On it. The time is at hand. Onward. We march. The path is set. As you wish. <laughs> Onward. Ready. You got it. I shall hold nothing back. And true! I fight in me yet. A trivial undertaking. Awaiting your command. By your word. Come. I have you! The battle is won! I've not chosen my grave yet. I'm up. On it! I shall hold nothing back. The liberation for the liberation. The path is set. To me. Gaze upon the face of your demise. This struggle will only prolong the pain. Accept the mercy of a swift demise. I fail to understand, Hodrick. What has motivated this shift in allegiance? Joseph, Cornea's most decorated knight. I shall close the book on your tale myself. Stand true! I fight in me yet. My steed demands rest.
Come. in my grave yet. What foolishness is this? One such as I, brought low by the corneate vermin that gnawed our ankles. You've fallen far indeed, Hodric. How many times did you stare death in the face at Her Majesty's side? Now, look what you've become. I may stand as your swordmaster no longer, but I can yet offer you a merciful end to your descent. Wait! Your Highness. Tell me, Hodric. Do you remember the times you and I played together? When I was still just a boy? Yours was a bond of loyalty few knights could hope to equal. Why cast that aside and bend the knee to Galerius? I refuse to cut down a friend without first knowing how we've reached this grim conclusion. A simple reason is all I ask. Please. Elaine! The ring! What sorcery is this? Oh, my head! What am I doing here? A spell to shackle the hearts of men. Tis the only way I can think to describe it, my prince. That ill-fated day, all the lords closest to your mother turned upon her without so much as a moment's notice. Unfortunately, my memories end there as well. A frightful power, if what you say is true. This spell of control, it could be called. Such magic would go far in explaining how Galerius so swiftly brought Fevrith to its knees. I shudder to think what unspeakable evil I wrought upon our world these last ten years. Though there is no greater misdeed than turning my spear upon you, Prince Elaine. That's enough. You mustn't blame yourself any further. But I do wonder, how is this ring capable of unmaking the spell? In truth, I had believed it to be mere regalia, a symbol of your birthright and nothing more. To think the power of cleansing truly exists. Your Highness, that is the Ring of the Unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil, but I had believed such tales to be mere fiction. The Orthodoxy has a similar story about the Holy Unicorn, how it was a sacred beast able to purge darkness from our lands. It's entirely possible that the ring that bears its image is somehow capable of that same power. Hmm. 
Should Galerius's rule be built upon a foul sorcery that fetters our people, then this ring is the ray of light that will pierce its wicked heart. Your words ring true, my prince. Indeed. Were we able to free those bound by his cruel magics? It might just bring the Iron Wall of Zenoira crashing down. All told, I've often found myself plagued with doubt. Is it justice that guides our march, or paltry vendetta? Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it I will, Mother. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. Mists that will soon be dispelled. It may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled, and slay Galerius like the beast he is. And how does Hodric fare? Well, all things considered. Any fog that lingered in his mind seems to have cleared, and he stands ready to fight once more. By the way, your highness, allow me to brief you on our plans for when we arrive. Among the Liberation members I've mustered in my past excursions is a young yet skilled knight by the name of Clive. I'll ride to bring him to you the moment we've reached solid ground. You have my thanks. A word, Elaine? Is something wrong? Well... No, it's nothing. Are you sure? Anxiety will be the death of you if you keep it bottled up like that. It really isn't important, I assure you. It's just... Our lives have changed so drastically from the peace we had only yesterday. It barely seems real. I can't say I feel any different. But I've always known this day would come. It's why I've spent all these years training under Joseph's careful instruction. A shame you never had the chance to meet my mother. She was always one to blaze a path forward, royal blade in arm. But as her heir, I intend to lead in much the same way. Is that why you and Lex spent all your days banging swords down at the shore? You've... seen that, have you? You know, Hodric was likely but one of many. And assuming the others who surrendered to Zenoira are being controlled as he was, we may just stand a chance in this. Yet our liberation is still in its nascent days. Promising, yes, but gravely fragile as well. Which is precisely why I'll need your help, Scarlet. To reclaim peace for all who have suffered. Elaine, I... Of course. I'll do everything I can. As is my role as a priestess of the Palavian Church. Hey, don't forget about me! <sighs> Lex... <laughs> what? I'm sorry, my prince. Decorum doesn't come naturally to this fool. It's all right. When you've known each other as long as we have, there's no reason to let formality bind us. But there are protocols to observe. Rules we must follow as vassals in service of the Crown. Still, I'm of the same mind. What mind he has, that is. I'll give my all in the royal name, Your Majesty. Thank you all. I couldn't ask for a finer group of friends. Why have you stopped? We're surrounded. Not the welcome party I was hoping for. Get your vile claws off of me! Let her 
I should have known you'd be behind this treachery, Renault. What is the meaning of this? Apologies for the icy reception, but we've business with the girl. What business could you have with Scarlet? Unhand her this instant. <laughs> no, I don't think that will be happening. I act under orders from Emperor Galerius himself. As for what he plans to do with her, that's not for one of my station to know. Yet I shall see it done all the same. <laughs> I'm ashamed to hear you met such misfortune before I arrived. Your Highness, this man is Clive, the knight we spoke of earlier. A pleasure. Still, it rankles the mind. I never would have dreamt that Galerius was after Scarlet, and not you, my prince. Who was that knight who took her? His name is Renault, formerly a proud servant of Queen Elenia. Not unlike myself. And just as I fell victim to Galerius and his foul magic, it would seem he has met with a similar fate. All the same, why Scarlet? Perhaps her role as a priestess has something to do with it. Lately I've heard tell of Zenoira's desire to spread its roots into the orthodoxy, making one with direct ties a prime target. In any case, the risk to her safety is clear, should she fall into Galerius's hands. And sitting idly by only serves to stoke my worry further. Let us be off at once. Wouldn't do that if I was you. No chance you're helping the girl if you don't even know where you're going. And you are? Don't worry, he's a friend. A collaborator of mine by the name of Travis. Fancy way to refer to a spy. You need intel, dirt, or just the latest weather, I'm your man. And what of Renault? Road east, faster than a clap of thunder. I can only assume he's going for the city. But the real problem is his army of mercenaries. We won't have to Renault, we've got to go through them. Your Highness, we all share your sense of urgency, but we've no hope of aiding Scarlet without first routing the enemy before us. Right. We depart as soon as we are able.
three hours. We march. Onward. You face me. Victory grows ever closer. The time is at hand. The path is set. Your villainy ends here. We march on. Just leave it to Lex. Must never yield. Well fought. <laughs> Onward. Come then. A fine job. A fine bout. We march. To me. Anything. Orders, Your Majesty? Understood. Where should I head next? Anything for Cornea. Received. To arms! Stand a chance. Orders, Your Majesty? Understood. It's ours. The time is at hand. Onward. I'm not a 
afraid of you! ends here. for cornea received your villainy ends here good a fine bout to me On us. Well, look who finally came knocking. Apologies, but I fear we lack the time for pleasantries. <laughs> Figures. Let's get it over with then. Your Majesty? Close. 